Hi Collective, it's Tina from The Lover's Conjure. I hope you guys are all doing well. We're gonna be doing your collective reading for the day. Oh my goodness, hope this full moon is treating you well, everyone, and that you're having a good week. All right, let's see which deck we're gonna start with. Hmm. I don't know what I'm feeling today. Eh, maybe the witch's tarot. Okay, I'm gonna take a little room as well. cards over. Good sign. Good sign. Okay. Spirit guides, universe, guardian angels, and ancestors, this reading is for the collective. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Okay, guys, this is not zodiac sign specific, nor is it date specific. It is just for whoever needs to hear it whenever they hear it. Okay, temperance reversed. So we got some Sagittarius energy on the table, but uh, temperance reversed means somebody is impatient right or unhealed it's it's a card of patience it's a card of healing it's a card of um uh, divine uh protection as well ancestors if that makes sense um but when we see it in the reversed it is you know the opposite so somebody could be being really impatient i'm kind of getting that vibe uh from it you know primarily is it's a vibe of impatience like not not being patient for something let me see Maybe somebody's really impatient over the fact that they haven't healed yet. They want to heal so that they can move forward. Very, very possible. The chariot reversed. Okay, so card of cancer, cancerian energy. Okay, this is um being delayed. Okay, this can be travel delays. It can be delay delays in moving forward figuratively, like in a relationship or in a job. Um, it can be confusion as to which way to go. Um, it could be that there's a blockage in your way or something like that. Let's see. Got a few. Oh. All right, some of you guys, this is work-related. So for some of you, you know, it, it's pretty clear. You you know, you don't want to be where you're at and you don't know where to go from here. So that, that might be happening, right? Maybe you've had some sort of epiphany. Maybe something happened, you know, that you're like, I, I, I just don't know if I want to even be here anymore, okay? But you've got the world reversed. The world's the most positive card in the deck, even when it's reversed. It just means that there's unfinished business or an uncompleted cycle. Eight of Pentacles reversed is someone from your past returning to you or you returning to someone from your past and then the nine of cups reversed is um it can be somebody who I, I tend to see that card as somebody who's very unsatisfied or unfulfilled with something um it can also be a card of intoxication or you know addiction as well sometimes so um it's indulging indulging like it's 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 you know not doing something in moderation it's doing too much of something um so yeah and it could be just that something didn't work out. The tower is underneath that. Yeah, the tower is, um, you know, sudden drastic change, you know, a very, very, you know, it's a tower. The towers change. Nine of Wands, somebody's really defensive. Strength, okay, pulling in on the inner strength. There could be trust involved here. A Leo also. Some of you guys may, may have some pretty heavy duty spiritual support is what I'm getting here. Um, that, yeah, the full reverse, the Knight of Cups reverse. Okay, okay, so this is, um, yeah, it, it's pretty clear. So, you know, it, it looks like for a lot of you guys, um, you're losing your patience with a person or a situation, whether it be work or relationship related. Um, there is a tower moment coming if it has not occurred already, just so you know. Um, and if that tower moment has occurred already, it could be that somebody did something very foolish, full reverse is doing something without thinking. It's not looking before you leap. It's it's one of those type of situations, somebody acting very immature, um, making a very, very foolish, foolish mistake. Now, collective, whether it was you that did that or whoever or whatever you're dealing with, you know, it's going to be different for everybody's situation, but there definitely is some impatience there. It definitely looks like there needs to be some healing. What is this? The four of wands reverse. Somebody may have had to move, okay, or uproot themselves. This is about um, stability. It could be about marriage and family as well. So somebody may be going through a divorce, but typically with the four of wands, a lot of times I see that as the house. So it's like moving, you know, relocating, something along those lines, maybe having issues with where you live. Let's see. Let's 
Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay, releasing something, letting something go, saving or spending money. It could be as well, a major purchase or having to spend money on something else. Two of Wands reversed. Again, this feels like moving. Eight of Swords reversed. Some of y'all are, you know, all in your head about this. Somebody could be all in their head about you. One more. Ten of Wands reversed. Yeah, somebody had to drop a burden. Okay. Yeah, this is we this is a lot. And I think I think what's happening here is I'm probably picking up on a, on several different collective paths, if that makes sense. Um and this could all be connected for you as well. Um, but no, I mean I'm seeing like changes in pretty much everything. Somebody is like quitting their job, moving, you know, getting divorced, you know, getting out of some sort of situation where they previously felt trapped, even though they weren't actually trapped, it was mental, but you know, it's like you feel like you're trapped. Um, it could for some be jail as well, or some sort of incarceration or imprisonment too. Um, but no, I mean, for most of you, this is going to be getting out of a situation that was just too much. You know what I mean? The 10 of wands is like, this is too many fucking wands. The witch can't even fly anymore. She's got too many wands. You know what I mean? Like, it's too heavy. It's too much. You had to drop some of the load, release some things, some people, some, some things that were weighing you down, bringing you down is what I'm getting, keeping you grounded when you want to fly, that type of thing, you know? So, yeah, no, this is getting out of a situation that you were, you were very, very burdened, very heavily burdened. Maybe for a lot of you, this, it was way more burdensome than you realized, right? The tower moment could have been an epiphany where you were like, oh my God, I didn't even realize I was in, you know, such a toxic, you know, negative, heavy situation until you get out of it. And then you're like, oh, wow. Whew, you know, like I drop the wands, I move, I let it go. I take, you know, take some time to heal. And um, all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, it's like epiphanies and realizations about what actually was happening, what actually was going on in the relationship for a lot of you. Yeah. Page of Wands reversed. You could be not speaking to someone. It's a page. Again, if you deal with pages, whatever, but unless it's your kid or a kid, but it's a page. Somebody could have said something to you that was very childish or immature. Somebody was also probably juggling you, breadcrumbing you. Six of Pentacles means dealing with two people, trying to, trying to, you know, um, play both sides of the field, have their cake and eat it too. Fire sign, energy, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, death reverse, the moon, they want a resurrection, ace of swords, somebody wants to tell you the truth. Queen of pentacles, reverse, the high priestess, you already know the truth. Your intuition is right. You are right about this person. So whether or not you take them back and let them in is going to be up to you. But your intuition is right. So they want to tell you some stuff though. It looks like they want to tell you the truth, but again, once somebody lies to you so many times, you know, it's just, do you even need the truth? Do you need closure? I mean, you gotta, you, you have to be the one to decide if you're going to open that Pandora's box again, you know? Right. Um, okay. So that was kind of heavy. Let's pull another deck and, and try to pull some new energy. So let's see what else is going on. What else is going on with the collective, please? sword reversed again something coming back around something uh, it's communication typically with the four swords when it's in the upright it means no communication or taking a break when it's in the reversed it means communication is coming through what what this what might this be the high priestess again your intuition a pisces a secret so let's tell you a secret okay the initials might be B, J, T, O, R, or A. It could be work-related. It could be that they want to work with you. It could be about what they do for a living. Um, you know, Three of Pentacles is typically a work-related card for me. For some, it will be a third-party situation, especially at work. Like um, if, you know, somebody was like, has a you know love triangle going on with someone they work with or they work with someone that they were married to or involved with let me see what is this secret
the devil reversed, okay? Capricorn energy, it could be that they had an addiction and that they're overcoming it, especially with the, you know, the temperance card we saw earlier reversed. So I wouldn't, if, if you know somebody has an addiction or if somebody comes to you and tells you they have some sort of addiction, whatever it might be, drugs, alcohol, shopping, sex, gambling, just anything, okay? Toxic behavior um, or dark behavior, nefarious. If, if they say that they have that and they are, you know, breaking free from that, um, be careful. I think somebody secretly went back to some sort of addiction that they had before as well. Um, yeah, somebody was hiding something from you. What's the devil reverse? Again, Capricorn, if I didn't say that already. You may have broken ties with this devil energy too. May have been what was holding you back, especially because what we saw earlier with the Ten of Wands, somebody had you chained like an animal. You may not even known it. And it could have been your work. It could have been your job. You know what I mean? They could have been doing stuff to you. Yeah. Drama. Five of Swords. Some sort of conflict. What the hell is this? It's, it's, it's winning, right? So, it's. I mean, it's this person wants to win no matter what or you want to win no matter what. Okay, but they're willing to cause drama and conflict and strife in order to win. What does this mean? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. It's a fiery energy, somebody who takes action, typically masculine. Um, let's see, what is this? A weird reading today, guys. Look at his face, like, ew. Yeah, look, the lizards, okay. So, look at his face. He's determined, right? He's the king of determination is what he is. He's gonna get something. He's got his like hands in a ball. He's like ready to pounce. He's got a stick. Oh, judgment reverse. Now, hold up, because that kind of changes the conversation. So judgment reverse means somebody may have misjudged a person or a situation. You, your judgment may have been clouded, and this can be for a number of reasons, guys. A lot of times we're optimists, especially if you're empathetic, you know, or an empath. You want people, you want to see the good in people, right? You want to bring that out, and, and you naturally gravitate towards seeing the positive in people, right? It's a blessing and a curse. Um, but it could be that you misjudged this person or that they misjudged you, okay? Judgment reverse can also be karma. And when it's in the reverse, guess what, guys? It's bad karma. You know, somebody may be getting bad karma. If they brought a lot of drama to your life, if they kept secrets and had addictions and had third-party shit going on, they're getting karma is what I'm saying. The karma is fucking raining down. Let's see. What, why is judgment reversed? Sorry about my language, guys. Freedom. You get to give for what you take. Eight of Cups reversed. Back around from the past, my friends. Somebody coming back around from the past. But I don't like their intentions. I don't. They want to... They're attracted to you. That's why. This is the, the D-stick card. You know what I'm saying? Two of Swords. If they're trying to figure out what to do. Um, maybe they can't... I don't know. You you might be at a crossroads with this person. Or you know they might be at a crossroads with how to approach you. Someone is very, very attracted to you. But this is physical attraction, guys. Five of Pentacles, they feel left out in the cold. They feel like you shut them out of your life. You may have blocked them, ghosted them. They may have blocked you, ghosted you. Yeah, they want to rebuild the tower reversed. Somebody that you had a tower with wants to rebuild. Page of Cups, they're coming in with an apology, right? But the Page of Cups or an offer of some sort, like this would be like wanting to take you out for a drink or a coffee or whatever, okay? Or some sort of like small apology, okay? But again, Looking at this energy here, at, you know, as to why things ended and the way they ended, I don't know if this is going to suffice for a lot of you guys. I don't even know if you're going to want to hear it, to be honest with you. I'm sorry this reading went this way. I'm trying to do more positive stuff, but it just, you know, it's coming up. It's coming up for... <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I watched some readers that literally you will never hear a negative thing come out of their mouth. I'm more of a realist, right? Like, I just read what the cards say. And what I feel, you know, but some people, you know, they really, really block out negativity and they, they ask for only positive messages. And I love those readers, a couple of them that are really good. Halo Moon, um, oh my God, uh, something evolution. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Anyway, 
even those readers have been pulling this energy. Like I've been seeing a lot of readers that don't typically pull any negative energy pulling on this, this person, guys. If, if they're picking it up, I'm picking it up, everybody's picking it up, okay? Think about it, right? It's a strong energy. It's 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 for the, the whole collective, okay? So we've got, you're, you're gonna be in one side of the fence or the other here, maybe both, you know? Even um, Ollie's tarot, oh my gosh, she picked it up too. These people don't know me, by the way. I just love them. I like to watch their channels. <laughs> Lord of mercy, Wheel of Fortune. What is going on? Okay, so something shifted. What's the Wheel of Fortune, right? It's about divine timing. It's about fortunate and faded events, okay? When the wheel turns, it spins, right? And when it's in, in the upright, it's bringing things in your favor, but it's also removing things that are weighing you down. So for some of you, this was absolutely faded, right? Like this, whatever this tower moment was or, or this relationship, even if it was like the worst relationship of your life, it was faded, right? There were a lot of lessons to be learned from it. Maybe, you know, you've passed some sort of spiritual test. You're ascending a little bit further. Something fortunate is going to come out of this, okay? Even if it doesn't feel like it right now. Let's see. I don't know, somebody may have been trying to cause a tower in your life and your spirits were like, ah, <laughs> blocked. Let me see. I, okay, King of Cups reverse, somebody is not happy. They're seeing you, oh yeah, they're, they're seeing you, oh my God. Okay, Seven of Swords, you guys be careful. They're seeing you successful. They're seeing your wheel turn in your favor. They're jealous, okay? There's something going on um, here. I, a lot of you collective are gonna get like a really lucky break. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Um, hmm. All right, clarity on the Wheel of Fortune, please. Anyway, I mean, a lot of you are gonna get something really cool. Uh, in your life, something awesome, actually. And um, somebody here wants to take it from you. They wanna steal that moment from you. They wanna steal your thunder. They wanna steal your money. They wanna steal something, your attention, your time. They're trying to take something from you. So um, this is what the Seven of Swords does. They take and they bring drama. And the King of Cups reverse is not good. It's, um somebody who's emotionally unstable, typically masculine, sometimes water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it doesn't have to be though. Okay, so Knight of Pentacles here, that's clarifying Wheel of Fortune. This is again, a gift from the universe. It may have been slow, slow moving, right? And this can be a commitment, it could be money, success, stability, it doesn't matter. Somebody wanted to take your stability? Why? What is this? Keep, keep going on this Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles. I wanna see more about what, what this blessing is. You got a blessing coming. It may have been a long time coming too. Oh my God. The reason that you're getting this blessing is because you let something go. Scorpio energy with the death card, but you had a rebirth, a change, a transformation. You released something, you let it go, death. This this was your, your rebirth. And now the universe is like, good, we see you. We're bringing you a present. And somebody hates that. <laughs> Tell me more, tell me more. What's this Wheel of Fortune present thing coming in? The chariot? Oh my gosh, you could be traveling. It could be a vehicle or a vessel of some sort. It can be um, forward movement in your life, okay? There's a lot of different things, a Cancerian zodiac sign, but the chariot is, it's forward positive movement in any event, but no, you might be traveling. I feel travel. One more. This is so good, guys. I'm gonna look at the hater, don't worry. Cause you know they planted something, they sneaky. Seven of Swords. Oh my God. <laughs> Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. Virgo Taurus Capricorn, let me see. This is cute, guys. 
somebody really likes you. Um, and again, it can be a friendship, it can be a romantic situation, it can be a job, okay? There's, it could be all three, right? There's, there's all of these great energies behind what the universe is bringing to you. I'm not joking, like this is super good. You're gonna be really, really, really happy, like really happy about this. But again, let's look at this hater over here, I'm drinking his haterade. Come here, fool the hell out of here. All right, what are we doing? King of Cups reversed, Seven of Swords, real shitty energy. <laughs> Let's see. What's this hater trying to formulate over here? The sun. Leo energy, hang on. The King of Pentacles reversed. Oh, oh. Two of Swords reversed. The Hierophant reversed. The Fool. They're mad because you're happy. Your happiness pisses them off. Your light pisses them off. Okay. Hang on. You got the Sun. This is joy, happiness, contentment. Could be a Leo. Okay. Summer, whatever. Right. But this is happy energy with the Fool. You have a fresh start. Right. They're pissed off at you because of this. They don't want you to have this, okay? King of Pentacles reverse. This can be somebody who is financially unstable. Um, this can be somebody who is, you know what I always think about the King of Pentacles reverse? This is somebody that like is flashy, that like wears the Rolex or like tries to brag about their money and their success and all this stuff and really they ain't got shit, okay? And the reason they may, may not have shit is because of legal issues, okay? With the Justice reverse card. Or it could just be, you know, the Hierophant reverse. They could have lost their job, um, their family might have problems okay something like that the queen of wands so yeah they got somebody over here family member who's the queen of wands give me one card on her they made the wrong choice see this is what they did two of swords reverse when, when it's like this it's like i have two options right I, I can go this way or that way the light or the dark okay they made the wrong choice they went over here to, towards the dark and ever since they did that they've been experiencing really bad luck like really bad luck again legal issues i'm seeing you know being broke uh somebody jealous over here what is this somebody somebody got knocked off their little throne is what happened somebody wants to steal your your light collective y'all be real fucking careful who you let in your energy space treat these people like vampires because that's what they are don't let nobody in your house i'm not seeing anything like this is stealing though just saying okay um i'm not seeing anything super nefarious but you know i don't know i can't tell y'all what to do but seven of cups Again, this person had options it may, and they were entertaining two people. See, they were doing it for a while too because they had the scales balanced here and then they just had these people breadcrumbing, right? Like they were, this is what these people do. They have to have always like more than one option, usually five, six, seven options, right? They gotta, they gotta have all this, um, you know, options so that when they discard you like trash, they can just jump to the next one and the next one and the next one. But what they're realizing is like, oh my God, the person I was dealing with here, the fool, the sun, look at the radiance coming off of these cards. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, this was the wrong choice. You were, you were grade A supply for this narcissist. Let me tell you. Okay, let's see. And this could be your boss for sure. The Hierophant and the King of Pentacles both reversed. Yeah, absolutely can be your boss. Justice, if it's not a legal issue, it can be some sort of unfair uh, situation or something that was unjust. Six of Pentacles, they were juggling you with, with a Queen of Wands, okay? Now this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be somebody um, that's very, very beautiful. It could be somebody who, um, sometimes she's jealous, but usually not in the upright, in the, in the reverse, she's jealous. Let's see, who is this Queen of Wands? Or maybe they're looking at you like the Queen of Wands. Like you, you take action, you, you do shit. The Knight of Cups. Oh, let me see one more. The Ace. <laughs> the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so what I'm gathering here is if, if you guys were in a situation, let's just say, where let's just say your boss did not appreciate you or the person you were with did not appreciate you, right? And they had other options. They were keeping their options open, right? So you may have been option A for a while, but then, you know, you have option B, C, D, E, F. It goes down the line, okay? 
So they jumped over to option B, it looks like, and option B was like, already had somebody else going on. Now they, they may have received the same karma, whatever they did to you got done to them, is what I'm saying, seeing here. But I think that they had somebody in their pocket that they thought they were gonna bounce out to, right? To bounce over to, that they were juggling alongside you, at least another main option. And this person has a new romantic opportunity. So it's like they're going towards this Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands, okay? Um, so like they thought they were gonna like leave you and then go straight into this person's bed but this person was like actually I have a boyfriend <laughs> or you know what I mean they get their the players getting played which is really funny too okay let's see what else is going on <laughs> let them put these cards up I'm gonna I'm gonna pick, pick a new deck we're gonna do one more little round here we're at 25 minutes yeah I gotta get some stuff done this is too funny why is this coming up like this anyways if this person shows up this weekend like I said y'all may want to just keep it moving <laughs> Sayonara. Okay, so they're saying do not stress about this. Please don't have sleepless nights, anxiety, grief, depression, and you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It, it was a false start, okay? False flame, whatever you want to call it with the Ace of Wands reverse. This person was probably just using you for physical attributes, right? Maybe you look good on their arm. Maybe, you know, they just like have sex with you, whatever, okay? It doesn't really matter. They're using you for some sort of physical stuff, okay? Um, now that you've pulled back on them though it's like oh my gosh your energy is like clearing out like things are getting better your whole world's kind of getting better you know what i mean pay attention to the little things because i'm telling you right now you keep people like that around in your life they will eventually suck you dry they're they, they will take 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 and they'll do it in a way that's so methodical that you don't even know it's happening you know just be careful let's see we'll do some oracles too i'm just gonna do a few more cards what else do we need to know high priestess she keeps coming out you guys so um this this really is a card about following your intuition okay so please follow your intuition i, I want to tell you guys again your intuition whatever you thought about this person is correct okay and this is for my collective and you know who you are b j t o r or a okay um, and they're keeping secrets. There's still secrets in the situation. Maybe you need to kind of keep things a secret. Don't tell people stuff. Let me see. The hanged man reversed, okay? Not being hung up on something or stuck on something or someone. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. One, two more. collective you're unstuck you're unstuck it's like uh it's like the lightning struck and like got you unstuck but don't tell anybody look at this look at this collective y'all there's gifts coming in you're being rewarded um for those of you that you know, may have gone through financial distress because of this person or situation that is coming back to you in ways you can't imagine. The 10 of cups again is, has come out twice in the upright. Okay. For you collective, this is, this is literally being in the happiest, most fulfilling, you know, time of your life. Okay. It's a 10. So I've been saying this, it's another, it's a 10 year cycle, right? That's the cycle I'm on. It's like, I, you know, 82, 92, 2002. Those are the big years for me, 2022 that, you know, things really change. So some of you guys may be on that similar cycle, but I, I, I see you guys are going into like some sort of like golden era. Something's coming in. Hold on. Property is involved. Give me one more and let's pull some oracles. Queen of Swords reversed again. Okay, so this can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, right? But this is because you took that sword and cut somebody the F out or you got divorced, okay? Or, or you cut communication with somebody. You stopped communicating with someone. You stopped giving them anything, right? Take it all back and then you get these blessings and gifts bestowed upon you, okay? Like I said, the haters, the haters are sad. Okay, they're mad. They don't want to see it. They don't like it. Okay. And they may try to bring some drama to you. Six of swords reversed. It's like going back into five of swords, guys. Somebody from your past trying to come back and stir up some shit. Okay. Don't fall for it. Do not let anything mess up your blessings. Okay. If I were you, I wouldn't even respond. All right. 
Now, of course, some people go out of their way to really try to get your attention. So think about the person you're dealing with and try just try to prepare yourself for whatever you think they might be coming up with because they're trying to come up with something. Trying to steal your joy. Take your light. Mm -mm. Oh, what do we got here? Okay. Straggler. I'm going to do some oracles. I've got the Amir Salon deck. So this can be somebody you're dealing with. This can be you. Take it as it resonates. Mature woman. Okay, so mature can be somebody who's emotionally mature. It can also be an older woman. Ooh, the Ice King. Okay, so Ice King is somebody who's cold. I see him as like the King of Swords, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy for some reason. Um, but this can be somebody that's, you know, uh, got a really rough exterior, somebody who's cold and cutting, but they're very, very strong. And honestly, the Ice King, I mean, he wouldn't have been able to befriend this beautiful albino lion, you know what I mean, if he didn't have some sort of, you know, really amazing qualities to him, if that makes sense. So somebody here may may have a rough exterior, they may be very cold on the outside, they may be out in the cold, okay, that could be another situation. Um, but again, the Ice King's not a negative energy or nefarious at all. Some of you guys may be meeting someone like that or dealing with someone like that, especially in work situations. I don't know why that's coming up, but it is. And this is fun time. I'm telling you guys, destiny. All right, let's pull some more oracles. Oh my gosh. Wallflower, oh wow. But again, guys, you're out having fun times maybe with this Ice King. If I feel like you guys are protected, Okay, maybe because of your maturity here, I don't know, but it, again, you're headed towards your destiny and it's gonna be really effing fun. Look at this with the 10 of cups. Hell yeah. Okay, so again, remember that, okay? Don't let anybody take that from you. Be, be careful. And then we've got the wallflower card. You know, a lot of times you see somebody who's shy, doesn't wanna get up and dance, kinda just sits around, blah, 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 mopes. So don't let this be you. That's one of the things I wanna tell you, but also I just get this weird feeling of somebody watching you. <laughs> keeping an eyeball on you, watching all of these beautiful blessings unfold for you. So yeah, the haters are watching. Mm -hmm. They're watching. All right, let's see. Yeah, because look at this. Look at that in the shadows there. See what I'm saying? All right. And it says blonde female, short term, control, and spiritual growth underneath. All right. Communication. Okay. Let's go to the set. Okay. Ooh, two little witches. Magical space clearing time. Okay. So this can be about you maybe clearing out your space. A lot of people are doing that. I just did that as well. Got rid of like 70% of my stuff. I'm serious. Just because, you know, it's stuff. It just weighs you down. You know what I mean? Some of you guys may be organizing. You could be working with them. Um, you could be a witch. You could be working with another witch. Um, let's see. Magical space clearing would be um, doing, you know, magic, I guess, to clear your space. So maybe burning, you know, Palo Santo or sage, uh, doing a, a floor wash or a floor sweep, something like that as well. I love doing those. I'm going to do one here. Oh my gosh. It totally changes the energy of the whole place. It's super cool. All right, let's see. Okay. Pink Lotus Fairy, and it says, a time for spirit. So some of you guys need to work on connecting with your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, okay? Some of you guys may be, um, you know, working on spiritual things or studying spiritual things or working on spiritual growth. You may be going through a, you know, a time where, and I, I keep seeing this, I'm gonna show you with the Ice King again, because I saw this after the fact, he's got these spirit guide lions also protecting him. They, they've got his back, okay? So again, I feel like for a lot of you, it's like your spirits have your back, your ancestors have your back, um, but it's time to recognize that, you know, maybe acknowledge them, maybe leave them a little gift, you know, something along those lines, right? It's time for spirit. Pay attention to your spirits, talk to them, work with them. They, they wanna help you, right? They are helping you. All right, and then let's do one more of these. Ooh, strange Valentine. It says love is strange <laughs> at the bottom. So interesting for whoever that resonates with. Um, let's see. Lantern fairy is a clear solution. So some of you guys are going to get a clear solution, clarity, something's going to happen, shift, you know, the lightning strikes and then everything changes. Um, let's pull, since we're already at 35 minutes, do the love oracles and we'll close this out. 
These are gonna be messages from your person. So just whoever you're thinking of right now, get them in your head and this is gonna be what they have to say. You deserve better than me. Yes, you do. <laughs> I love you. And soulmate. Okay. And then let's go into the romance angel cards. Okay. It says, oh my God. Yeah, there, you guys are traveling. Oh man. Okay, so release your ex, okay? The time has come to clear your energy. And that's the second message we got about clearing your space, okay? So clear your energy, guys, because some of you guys have somebody coming in that's gonna change your whole world, all right? Seriously, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, okay? And then honeymoon and engagement. Okay, so enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now, honeymoon can also be like traveling, you know, with someone or traveling. It can also be a long distance partner, somebody that, you know, you have to travel to see or be with. Um, and then, of course, engagement. It says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, whatever that means to you. It does not have to mean honeymoon and engagement in the like, you know, literal sense, like the, the religious sense that we look at it, right? It can be um, ascending, you know, engagement can be committing to someone, you know what I mean? It's ascending to the next level. So, um, wow, guys. And then it says, let go of control issues. I have been literally yelling at my clients about this. <laughs> it's true. Free yourself. Woo. Okay. All right. I'll stop. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm just going to do a little message from Zoltar, if he works. fortune from Zoltar. It is better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. And also, my friend, it is wise to be taking good advice when you hear it, no? Hey. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day, Collective. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.